the next morning. And we're awake. What is up heroes and welcome back to Small Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Last episode we had a nice field trip and uh, we lost Gumi in the woods. To be fair, it's his fault. So uh, yeah, we want to irritate you by insisting we always go together. So see you later. No man. I like you Sparky. I guess I'll just have to make my own way to school then. Sparky seems uh, really upset. I mean, to be fair, Gumi does suck. I like Gumi, but in this game, yeah, it's not the greatest. And how do we get to school? Oh my god, we've got Tyranitar just chilling here. Sup? I'm Tyranitar of Team ACT. I'm proud of my armored body and power. Is this the way to school? Uh, I have no idea how to go to school, but it's cool you to kind of freely explore a little bit. That's not to school, is it? There's a very nice view. I honestly don't know which way school is. I guess I can explore the town a little bit. Whose house is this? Shut tightly. So it's not like the, uh, the average Pokemon game, we can just go to anyone's house. Hi, how are you doing today? I am doing pretty well, thank you very much. So which way could school be? I said we go this way. Okay, nope. This way's gotta be the school. Ah, there we go. I think I may be late. Huh? Is that... Sparky? <laughs> Did you hear that, shall it? This one here seriously wants to join the Expedition Society right now. I know, it's too funny. They don't let kids into the Expedition Society, duh. Don't you know that? I know. But maybe I can do it if I try. That's what I believe. Maybe you can. You believe? Are you kidding me? But what's so funny about that, huh? What's so... Come on, everyone knows that it's been possible for a kid. And even if it weren't, there's no way you could get in. Not even that good at exploring dungeons, are you? Uh, just look at the stunt you pulled yesterday. I mean, maybe someone like Esper, she's at least got some real skills. But you? <laughs> Poor Sparky. So if that was me, I would just, you know, I'm a charmander, I'll just set them on fire. Go for a nice little ember. Sparky? What is it? If you not hear me say, doesn't matter what they say, I can do it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do it. I won't ever give up. I'm gonna achieve my dreams. I'll do it. No, I'll show them all. Sparky? Ah. What are you shouting about now? You ever noticed that class has begun, hmm? Ha <laughs> ha. What's this? Are you right, child? You begin to worry me. But not for the first time. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Farfetch, I've just got some things on my mind. Yeah. I can't let myself get down. I won't lose heart. Ah, silly Sparky never knows when to give up. Well, I suppose that's alright then. In that case, let's begin another fun day of class. Yes, sir. I would like to save and continue. I like Sparky. Sparky's, uh, pretty cool. By the time third period rolled around. Third period is now beginning. Today will be another dungeon outing. Ah, your illustrious Vice Principal Watchhog will be leading this special class. Be sure that you obey my every direction without fail. Especially you there. But me? That's right, you, Sparky. Once a troublemaker, always a troublemaker. That's what I say. So no trouble out of you today. You got that? Now, let me divide you up into teams. The first team will be... Drum roll, please. Honorable Mr. Watchhog Super Team. Awkward. The team members will be Esper, Dealing, and Hayden. Let's do our best together. All right, just what I was thinking. And the next team, Fire Spin from Watchdog. Excellent team. Awkward. In this team we have Panchamp, Gumi, and Sparky. Shemit will set out on today's exploration and simply observe. Next, as usual, I'll be taking custody of any and all items you may be carrying. Your items will be placed securely in a deposit box and return to you later. Okay, Esper, can you do that? No problem. I'll go get ours. 
No way I'm going. No, I caught it first. Why don't you get out of my face then? Hey, break it up, you two. Didn't I just warn you, troublemaker? Why does this class always wear me out so much quicker than any of the others? My eyes are even twitching. Though they've always done that. Just got to hurry and wrap this up. Now then, the topic of today's class is, in brief, Blue Blitz and MRS. Uh, did you kids know about them? Uh, I can't say I do. Well, colour me surprised. I'll explain this just once, so memorise everything I say. First, looplets. Once you all open the item boxes I handed out. Each box should have three looplets, one for each team member. Ooh, they look pretty nice. Made to be worn on the body. So everyone in your team should take one when you go into the dungeon. Well, uh, these dents on the side. Good observation, my young shelmet. Those notches, as you will, are made to hold... Emeraz? Emeraz? Exactly. Emeraz are very mysterious items that you can find scattered throughout dungeons. Find Emeraz and fit into your looplet. Quick, bang, boom! When you do, you'll find yourself reaping mysterious benefits. Sound pretty awesome. Well, what kinds of things do Emeraz do, then? I can't wait to see. Me too, I want to see some more. <laughs> Simple children. I'm so easily impressed. I let the class get away from me earlier, but now... I'll just wrap things up before these scams wear me out even more. Oh, you would like to see some Emeras? You bet we do. Too bad, you'll never see any here. What? Emeras disappear if you try to carry them out of a dungeon. So you can never bring in any into a regular place like this. Too bad for you all. However, I am your illustrious vice principal. A position far grander than a regular old teacher. So I will use my special abilities this one time. Send an image of what Emera looks like directly into your soft young minds. Here I go! So, little gemstones. Quite impressive, aren't they? All shiny and glittering. You pop them into your looplet and BAM! They trigger beneficial effects for, your, for you during your adventures. There are any number of effects, such as making your moves stronger. However, Emeraz cannot exist outside of dungeons. Okay, that's pretty cool. Gives you more of a reason to explore every floor of the dungeon instead of just running towards the uh, the stairs. No, isn't it just a regular old drawing? What? It's not a psychic ability or anything like that. Ah, dude, Sparky, seriously? How dim can you be? Man, I feel sorry for old Watchhog. Can you just play it along? Oh, I get it now. Gee, I'm sorry. At any rate, I'd say that was a swing and a miss for the VP. Do you think he was trying to be funny? Oh, it was playful and amusing. Well, well, perhaps it's still not too late. So act like we're bo on board now. A miss from me? But I never miss. Ah, oh, it can't be. This is so embarrassing. Uh, um, Mr. Watchhog, sir? That's enough out of you. I don't want another word out of any of you until you're in the forest. Just make your way to Glittering Mounting and bring back those flags. There are always tons of emeralds to be found on Glittering Mounting. Use them wisely. Now get out of there and get out there and conquer that dungeon. Yes, sir. Guess we should hurry and go, okay. I think we've got Esper on my team. I went Esper last time. Glittering Mountain, first floor. Okay. So that's a looplet. You can set stuff. Do I have to give them to each member, maybe? I think I do, right? That would make sense. I don't know, okay. Let's just go. I still have to let them hold them. I see some on the floor now. Set. Ah, there you go, you can set them in there. Can make me the most powerful one. Haha. <laughs> Hey, how's my apple, Esper? Still in my apple. Oh, if they don't get that fast enough, they explode. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go for a Dragon Rage. Nice. Very nice. Can we go for that? No, for a second I thought I found a little, um, 
A hidden entrance, but I'd say that looks cool. Be cool if it was a hidden entrance, but I doubt it. Pow. Nice little scraggy, let's just get in the direction of him and let's go for a nice ember. Oh, I missed! Ah! Someone in the comments told me we, I will be missing a lot in this game. For some reason, you just end up missing so much. I don't know what carrying or well, picking up the little kind of amorous dust thing does, but... I don't know, I like it. A little sparkle it makes. I use a progress device. Okay, that's fine. Ouch. Getting low on health. Right, let's go up this way. Uh, this place is pretty cool if we go this way. Yeah, at least nowhere. Oh, let's get some money. Take a flame burst! And I missed. Love missing, I really do. Damn, they just love stealing my items, don't they? Thank God you got it. So we'll take you out. I suppose the tag's got some range, damn. Uh, let's just pick up. Got it. Set that on to you. These MRS things look pretty cool. I quite, quite like them. Oh, I cannot pick it up. I need to switch it with something that I swap with. Uh, there you go. You got that? Go on, Esper. There you go. If we can take it out. Oh, we've got lots of Metatite coming. Okay, there's one. Oh! Missed the bag on, that's always good. Hey, level 10, nice! Wants to learn Smokescreen. You know, I'm gonna get rid of Ember for it. Might sound crazy, but it lowers accuracy, and with this game, hoping maybe they're actually start missing attacks. We'll see, maybe we get against boss battle, we'll try it out. I haven't had a boss battle in a long time. Now you guys have been telling me as well, that, like, how long this game is, I should do longer episodes. So, um, expect longer episodes, just saying. I don't really need any items, do I? I'm pretty kind of fully stocked. We've like this been a field trip and all, and I can uh God get stuff back. I should just kind of not worry about using items or anything. I can just waste all the items because they're not mine, I guess. Oh, did not mean to do that, but oh well. No, that stone. I was gonna get that. I set this one. Oh yeah, it's a dead end. Oh yeah, someone told me to do something. I don't remember what it was. It was uh You mean others? Like do something with the speed up. Move, move, move settings. I speed something up and I don't remember what it was. Oh, speed. There you go, walking speed. Is that what I wanted? Ah, that's a bit better. I can walk faster. Ah, that's so much better. There we go. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know if that's the one someone told me to, to change, but there was definitely something. I just remember to do it now. 
do love the music for this game. It's got a really nice soundtrack. Come back. Let's just set that on to me. Now I'm overpowered. Now the rest of the droplets will give to uh, Esper and Dealing. Oh, I need to eat, don't I? I'm getting kind of low on hunger. Um... I'm not sure like, if my belly goes down and even does. Seem more solid than HP or something like that. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I think the stairs are down here. Yep, there we go. Next floor. I see a lot of enemies on screen. Uh, how do we even get out of this part here? Oh. Sup. Let's go for a nice flame burst. Ooh. Hey, flame burst was upgraded. Apparent accuracy has moved up. That's probably why we miss a lot in this game. I guess like you need to level up your moves to uh, get the accuracy up so they don't miss as much. So I'm assuming anyway. That's Dragon Rage. Shouldn't Dragon Rage do 40 damage? I mean... Wants to do 40 would be pretty good. Oh wait, maybe each belly... Okay, I think I know what belly does now. Okay. I think I understand. Right, let's go for some dragon rages. Oh my god, Mankey! Oh god, no, no, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Uh... Me? Thank you! Oh my god, Mankey's... Dude, Fury Swipes! Damn! Just wipe me out! That's insane. I want the money. Uh, give me the money quick. I should take you out first. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I just switch, but oh well. There we go. And let's grab that. Let's get the stats back. There we go, dealing. Up we go, next floor. The sixth floor. Oh, that was easy. Got the stairs here. <laughs> uh, that was a really easy floor. A little random, but still. Oh, that manky, I'm gonna stay away from that. It's... No, I, I just want to turn. I don't want to run down here. Ah. Smoke screen. Best miss. Ooh. Okay, monkeys are scary. Dragon Raid upgraded, sweet. Oh no, no, come on. Now, if Esper or anything wants to, like, you know, maybe attack, that'd be great. Just not chilling there. Back to normal. And I mean, oh my god, a Skarmory. Hi. I have no more Flame Burst. I need to use a. Oh. Uh, I need to use an Aether. Yeah, Max Elixirs. That'll have to do. Ooh. Anyway, my chop coming behind us is all gone. Pick that up. Uh, let's give that to Esper. So the stairs, there we go. Eighth floor. Go. Love and flame burst. Oh, stairs right there. Wait, let's quickly grab that. Wait, can't pick it up. Oh, there's a drinker then. D 
Damn, how many floors is this dungeon? Seems pretty big. Yeah, you better drop some money for me. Come on, dealing. Dealing! Okay, Dylan doesn't want it. There you go. Look on the panel. That's a dead room. Oh, hi, Scraggy. How you doing? You hear you like some flame burst to the face? Oh, goes in a complete circle. Okay. Ah, let's get the other way. Dylan, you okay? You got this? I think I can hear from here. Oh god, come on! Kill it! Oh, it's awake! Good, uh, we're gonna go down this way. It's got this panel. There we go, back to normal. We've climbed pretty high up. Hmm, what's the matter, Esper? This way. Is this? It's the peak of the glittering mountain. Look over there. Those are. The flags! There are two of them, which means we appear to be the first to have arrived. And we've cleared the dungeon. Come on, let's hurry back. Yay, we win! Impressive! Congratulations, Team Super Honorable Master Watchhog! Oh, uh, was an excellent team, Vice Principal Watchhog. Oh no, my congratulations all round! Good job dealing Esper and Hayden. Well, on the other hand, why is everything always my fault, huh? Because you're always so annoying. Can't focus at all when you're around and being such a pain all the time. On top of that, you always rush off into dangerous places. Isn't that what it means to have an adventure? All it means is that we never actually clear the stupid dungeon. Oh, awkward. My, my. Indeed, you'll never clear a dungeon with that kind of terrible teamwork. Hold on a second, are those two... They even listen to me? It's part of my job. Why do problem children have to be so problematic? Everyone else, please take care that you don't end up like those two. I'll be dealing out extra assignments to both of them later. For everyone else, class is dismissed. Off on your way. After school that day. Goodbye, Miss Audino. Yes, goodbye for today. Have a safe trip home. Have you all give me some real TLC next time I faint in a dungeon. Now, now. I don't know that cheek from you. Unless you'd like me to drop you off in a really frightening dr uh, dungeon. Huh? But what if I was just, it was just you and me going? Heh <laughs> heh. Stop that. <laughs> Cheeky. You walking home alone? Where's Sparky? Rushed off alone again? I see. Well, then you'll just have to walk together with us. I guess. But, why hasn't Sparky been coming together with you anymore? Didn't come to school together this morning either. Until now, I thought the two of you had been getting along so well. Huh? Sparky and you had a talk? You suggested that Sparky might be a bit annoying? Hmm. So that's it. Sparky's usually quick to recover from disappointments, but... Perhaps this time stung a little too much. I never said he was annoying. I said he was awesome. Doesn't mean that you, what you said was wrong, Hayden. Yeah, to be honest, after all. It's true that Sparky tends to drag everyone into trouble more often than not. What is it? You want to know how we feel about Sparky? It's not like I don't like Sparky. Sparky is always cheerful and fun to be around. So I don't dislike Sparky, really, but... I've ended up in dangerous situations because of Sparky's adventures. Well, we did leave you in a dungeon, I guess, so you can't... <laughs> well, you know uh, how Sparky will walk right into places that even adults avoid. Sparky calls it an adventure and drags others in. Gets to be a bit much. Kimi has got a little tired of all that. And I don't hate Sparky or anything. There's a limit on how reckless one can be. Sometimes I just have to say no. I see. Didn't really notice that when I first arrived here in this world, but Sparky isn't actually that close to all those other kids. Poor Sparky. 
Let's quickly save the game. The next morning. And we're up. Time for school again, I guess. Is that? No, it's Nuzly from my room. Oh, it was Esper for a second. Oh, awake already, Hayden? Well, good morning to you. Nuzly, he's back already. Sorry for leaving you by your lonesome like that. I bet you missed me, huh? What's that? You didn't miss me none? Well, well now, that's a bit disheartening to hear. But never you mind. Tell me. You recollect anything about yourself and your past yet? Any more sign of them, uh, behem? Mm-hmm. It's a shame you ain't remembered nothing new, but at least you ain't had to face any trouble here on your own either. And how's school life treating you? No problems, I hope. I'd feel awful bad if other kids were picking on you or anything of that sort. Truly. That was my biggest concern, so I'm right glad to hear that. I reckon we might keep plugging along like this and see how things turn out. And for you, that means another day of going off to school, a good little student. So we're going back to school. When do we get a day off? Looks like I'll be walking to school on my own again. Oh man. I like walking with Sparky. Alright, so we want to go. Oh, what's going on here? So there's a crowd around the village entrance. What's going on? So, how did it look? I tried to get a decent look around, but it was no good. They're all worked up. But it, but it will all be worth it if he gets some delicious honey out of it in the end. Delicious honey? Yeah, that's right. Out in Nectar Meadow, they're starting on their annual... Huh, aren't you? Badoo, Roselia's little one. Honey making season has begun, child. Many people like Beedrill and Combi all get together to make heaps of honey. And the honey that the make is the best. Just a little taste is enough to have me jumping for joy. You, jumping for joy? <laughs> I get it because he's, he's a little hippo. Especially a real child like yourself. It's best to give Nectar Meadow a wide berth at this time of year. Honey making, huh? I wonder what that delicious honey is like. I wouldn't mind a taste. Should we skip school and get some honey? Some sweet, sweet honey? I think we should. Ah, oh, damn it, we can't skip school. I would definitely skip school to get some sweet, sweet honey. Good morning, Principal Simipore. Good morning to you, Gumi. Oh, Principal Simipore, good morning. And good morning to you, darling. Good morning, Principal Simipore. You got gate duty today, huh? So let me ask you, sir. Why you always make? Why you always smirking? I'm not smirking. I'm smiling, my boy. I'm just so tickled to see all of you come into school in such good spirits. More important than that, the class is about to begin. Be off to your seat like a good boy. Yes, sir. Hey, Hayden. Where'd you come from, anyway? You know, you know, you never told us. Oh, awkward. Does anyone know where Hayden's from? I have no idea. Well, no, I guess not. That's true, huh? We never even asked, did we? Man, I c Yeah, that's enough from you. Once you start, you never stop, so don't. But isn't that weird? That nobody knows where you're from? So tell us. Oh, no, no. Wait, could you be... You from Lively Town? What, Lively Town? So it makes you like a city Pokemon? So sophisticated. Nuzzly hardly seems like the city type. I think you're on the wrong track. What should I do? Probably be shocked if I were to tell them the truth. May they even believe me? Then what's the real answer? Where'd you really come from? But trying to hide the truth won't really gain me anything either. Because I'll try to be honest. What? Hayden is from the human world? Like a real life human? But you are undeniably a Pokemon right now, Hayden. What? You're turned into a Pokemon somehow and you don't remember your old life? What? Ha! <laughs> Hayden, you're such a liar. What? Now, who would ever believe a made-up story like you being a human? Nobody's even seen a real human. They only exist in kid stories. Well, yeah, it's a bit hard to believe. Dealing. Don't exactly believe it, but I can't say that I know enough either way. What would Hayden gain from telling such a lie? If you want to make up lies, at least do a better job at making them believable. Ha <laughs> ha! Order. 
What's all this ruckus about now? Teach, he is telling lies. Telling lies? I would never do such a thing. Yeah, totally unbelievable whoppers. Sometimes the most unbelievable things are the things you should most believe in. That's what I've found. Principal Simipore. I like how he walks, his arms are just very... kind of papery. Perhaps Hayden's story is not true. But who are we to say? And what if? It is not a lie. Sometimes unbelievable things do happen. Because they do, living in this world proves endlessly entertaining. Not that I have any idea what kind of tales Hayden has been telling. <laughs> the point is just that you children should examine things from many angles. And hopefully have fun learning many new things as you do. Change your point of view even a little. And you might see an entirely new picture. But now I believe it is time for class to begin. Mr. Farfetch'd, I leave the rest to you. Y yes sir. Let's get started then. Class, today we will begin with a tale of the free little Spoink and the Mighty Hina. Now let me see. Once upon a, once upon a time, in a far off kingdom. <laughs> get it, free little pigs and the wolf. Mr. Farfetch'd, I don't think this, uh, that's the right story. Ah, oh, indeed, I apologize. <laughs> three little spunks in the mighty hina. When third period rolled around. Ooh, we got Magnazone, Magnemite, and Magneton. Children, are we leading your field trip again today? Also, I'm pleased to announce some special guests. Our friendly local sheriffs are here to assist in today's lesson. Haha, <laughs> wow, real life sheriffs. This is so cool. We're here today to demonstrate to all of you how to use an alliance. An alliance? That's right, an alliance. Your team must all use the alliance together to unleash their moves. It's an absolute vital skill to have, so be sure that you learn it well. Let's move into the forest and continue the demonstration. So I guess the next, well, the, still, we're in the tutorial phase, I guess. I mean, still learning stuff about dungeons. Students play, pay close attention. And you are certain about this? You may even lose consciousness. Beep, beep, beep. You'll be fine. Don't you know who I am? Have at me, come on. Very well then. Take this, I've affected. Triple shock attack! Which we just need right now. Vice Principal Watchog! What? This is nothing, nothing at all. More important, did you all watch carefully? How they use an alliance? Allies moving together in an instant, so run a foe to attack all at once. What's more, it deals damage to your enemies even if it's a bad matchup. That is the definition of an alliance. However, if you use this tactic too much, it makes you very hungry. So be forewarned. Next, it will be up to you all to try it out. Against me, come at me. This war truck's gonna end up dying. Okay, then free. Tap R. Go on, give R a little push. Okay. So everyone chooses their move. And then touch that. Or just press R, okay, there you go. That's pretty cool. Can I get a go now? Oh, I can do a shortcut. Okay, I got it. Guess we have to go for another dungeon to actually um, try that out right now. Ugh. Oh god, Vice Principal! I'm fine, but I may have underestimated the impact of so many moves. Even if you are children, you did a very fine job attacking me. If you did seem to enjoy it a bit much, let's bring this lesson to an end. Oh man, if that was real life, get to hurt a few teachers back then in my school days, that would have been... So nice. Not all teachers, I mean, just some though, just some. <laughs> Everyone has an alliance attack. Wow! Been super nice. Let's save and continue. You should rest before playing more. Really? I didn't even play like, what, 40 minutes? How long have I been recording for? It's over 30, it's not even long. Uh, what, what are we doing now? We're going to school? Oh yeah, I got school again. It's like the what the fifth day at school. This has got to be the weekend tomorrow. 
or soon hopefully. Alright children, it's time for a health class. Today we'll be learning about evolving. Evolution? Isn't that like maturing quickly? What are you talking about? Don't you even know what evolution is? Evolving just means you get bigger. I for one want to get bigger. Well, that's one way to sum it up, yes. What, we, we'll get bigger? It's not only your body's growing larger though, it causes many other changes. Evolving does bring you closer to being an adult, adult. So in that sense, Sparky's assumptions are not entirely off base. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? In addition to evolving, you may... Excuse me? I'm sorry, but have you seen Badoo today? Little Badoo, huh? No, I surely haven't. Isn't it still another year before Badoo is due to start school? What am I to do? I've searched all over our neighborhood, but found no sign of her. What, you mean Badoo has gone missing? Maybe we should contact the sheriffs. Sorry for interrupting your class like this. Oh my, are you alright, Rosalia? Yes, since I've been getting so dizzy lately. You come with me, sweetie. I want you to rest for a bit in the school clinic. What could have happened to Badoo? Makes you worry, doesn't it? Well, of course you would, dearling. You're just so kind-hearted. It seems to, uh, to me like you might be overacting over one kid wandering off. So I guess that kid will go off to that little um, honey meadow place with the bee drill and a uh, combi. I'm sure that her mother at least would get worried about it. Wait, but do. I think we do is the one I saw uh, back then. Yeah, it was. Maybe Pokemon like Beedra and Combi all get together at heaps of honey. So, he, yeah, he's going to go to the honey meadow, and that's where we're going to go next. Oh, nectar meadow, even. That's where we're going to be going. Same. Uh, she may be after some honey. What is it, Hayden? What? You have no idea where Badoo may have gotten to? Nectar Meadow to get some honey? It is true that the honey making season has begun at Nectar Meadow. If she did go there, Badoo may be in real danger. Why are you all full of this lightest story? Do you remember those ridiculous tales Hayden was spewing just yesterday? Why, well, I can't believe you're falling for it again. Who would swallow that kind of lie? You're getting tricked again. Well, that was a close one. Nearly got fooled here. Oh man, pa I really hate Pancham. Like, I used to like him, but from this game, I, I, I just want to smack him in the face. Gah, can't I just run out in the middle of class? What a fool, as if any of us would follow. Can't wait to see the chewing out that Hayden's going to get from the teacher. Come on, Sparky, you can follow me. Come on, dude, I know you want to do it. No way I'm going to get, let this go. If no one else believes me, then I'll simply have to go by myself. Going straight to the Nectar Meadow. Alright, hopefully, uh... Pikachu follows. I guess the boss is probably going to be like a Vespa Queen or a Beedrill or whatever. Let's uh, maybe buy some supplies. Uh, I haven't got much money to be honest. Sell items. Dude, I got Tiny Rivals. I'm actually pretty good. I don't need anything to be honest. Should maybe save it just in Okay, especially no sorry deposit money. There we go. And then we'll go. Hold up, Hayden. Ah, I knew Sparky would come. I did it. I ditched class too. What? I'm going with you. I believe you, Hayden. Hey, come on. Let's take on Nectar Meadow. We're going to find Badoo. Let's go. I think I said no. I'm going to say yes. But the first option always starts with no, so we start with yes. Alright, here we go. If we get the chance, let's try out that alli uh, alliance thing too. So you know, two people, I thought it had to be three, but okay. Nectar Meadow, first floor. Okay, so I'm gonna register Dragon Rage. Should get an Electro Ball. Ooh, missed. Ooh. Oh god, okay, let's try this. So we go right there and then bam. <laughs> I missed my attack. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, we're going to go for some flame bursts. Take a 
flame bird. Hey, nice. Okay, let's go find this uh, little Badoo, wherever he might be. Ooh. Sub, you should die pretty quick by flame burst. There's a grass pickle around here, so we should be pretty good with uh, flame bursts. Yeah, you better run shroomish. Oh, stun spore, you are the worst. Ha! I return to normal speed. Deep seed, oh, that's not good. There we go. Hey, grow level. Nice. Oh, someone in the comments told me as well, we can't actually evolve in this game till the post-game. Or like, we evolve at a certain point in the game and then we don't turn back, well we turn back and then... Oh, okay. Stuff like that. I mean, kind of cool. Do kind of wish I just got to go Mega Charizard, like near the end of the game, just destroy everyone, but that's yeah, fine. Oh god. Ambipom. It's kind of scary. We should, uh. Why do I always miss my attacks? I mean, well, I am sand attacked a load of times, I guess. It kind of makes sense. Crew level 11, sweet. Need to find one of them floor panels ASAP. Like that, there we go. Ah, oh, broke, damn it. I can't actually go for the flame burst for a while, which is kind of annoying. If I go for... I actually can't go for any alli alliance right now. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! I missed! No, no. Yep. Take a Dragon Rage and actually land an attack. There we go. Oh! Can you try to stick up behind me? Not cool, man. I hate missing, I'm asleep. No, I'm not in missing. Sweet. Whew. Okay. Alright, set that. If I'm not given... Oh, I've put the wrong one, haven't I? Did it get destroyed? I still got it. I think it's the straw, damn it. Okay. My bad. I'll call Pikachu to take it out. I'm coming back. Oh, do it himself. And there's the uh the stairs, nice. First floor. Back to normal, we all good. I want to move. I, if I just try aiming, I can't help but move. Like, I just tap it lightly or I, whatever and still move the character. I don't want that. I'm going to aim that direction so I can just uh, check from a distance. Oh, nice. Maybe be careful though, because I'm. Oh god, there's some stuff there. Pretty sure there's gonna be a boss battle at the end of this place. I should just try and get the uh, stones. I can't get the other two. 
It's too late. It's too late for me. Oh god. A lot of enemies coming. Oh, this is not good. Stop missing! This is not the time to be missing. Oh, this is not good. Goddamn shroomish. What have I got? Ha! Probably wasn't... Shouldn't have used that, but... I just want to kill that shroomish so much, it was so annoying me. Ha! Okay. So we're kind of getting back on our feet. No more flame burst now, which kind of sucks. Stop missing. I want to stop missing, I really do. Oh my goodness, okay. Sparky, use that. There we go, okay, we're good. Just gonna absolutely wreck right here. Upgraded, power went up, nice. Oh. Okay, everything's stopping. I thought the uh the game was gonna be a oh, cutscene or something. Let's get a max Alex, I need that. Whoa, 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 I don't eat stuff. Can't you stuff it? Guess you can't. Okay, um. Well, let's deposit. I don't know which one's equipped to who, so. We need them. Okay, let's go. Oh god. Can we boss battle next then? I'm ready. Or can we uh, go a few more floors? Felt like the halfway point right now. Life is fine. I'm just gonna flame burst you. Pow! Didn't mean to go for that again. Damn it! So I get to the uh, thing before it's shattered. Ooh! This one can hold four. Got that. Wait, let me pick it up. Swap with. And I get a special defense one. Shurikens. Sure 
to the seventh floor. Oh, we're getting pretty high. Gotta pick up the money. Ooh. I love oh we're good. <laughs> Welcome. Let's drink that. Gonna need that. Oh we can actually Wait on here. It's twenty though, don't really wanna Oh god. Yep, there you go. What happens if I said no? I'm gonna steal your stuff. I just wanna go to the other, other side. Sleep powder. Oh, don't be to sleep. Good. Oh, God. What was this? Oh, nothing. Here come lots of enemies. This is not gonna be good. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay, uh, let's go down this way. No! Oh, I was so close to getting that. Damn it. Need one more step. That's two flame bursts missed in a row. Love missing flame bursts. I really do. There we go. Uh, power boost. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Toughness, I'll take that again. Thank you. Leads back to the start, that's not the way to go. Definitely need to step on these panels though. Uh oh, my PP's down. Oh, there's the stairs. And all the way around. Complete circle, just the stairs to be next to me. Oh, look at these stones I can get. I string this near the uh, PP back. And I quickly. Oh, Pikachu's got that. No, I've got it then. Oh, it's gone. Damn it. Come on, up one. No, oh, I'm not gonna get it, I'm not gonna get it. It's gonna break, it's gonna break. Oh, I was so close. Damn, Zigzagoon, just ruin everything, don't you? There we go, oh my goodness. Sparky do with him. Got it? There you go. There you got a full set now. You all good? So this should be the last floor before the boss, I'm thinking. Rainbow should almost be up upgraded as well. Oh god. Should get that.
Um, I think I might be lost. Where am I supposed to go to find honey? Oh, Beedrill. Where are you going, BB? Ah, busy, buzzy BB. Uh, I, uh, I was looking for some honey. What, are you a honey thief? Ah, buzzy, busy BB. No, I never. Combi, to me. Ah, busy, buzzy BB. Combi. What is it? What is it, buzzy, buzzy, busy combi? It's like a tongue twister. It's a honey thief, BB. Ah, busy, buzzy BB. <laughs> I'm scared. What? This child, this one? She seems pretty young. Pretty young, buzzy, busy combi? Looks don't mean everything, BB. You combi are pretty ferocious despite your cute looks, BB. What? Well, what can be, buzzy, busy combi? <laughs> Wait. Badoo, you alright? Thank goodness. I came to save you. You're a band of thieves. So, she truly is a thief. A thief, BB. What? No. We're just... Oh god, this is not good. It's time to take out the bees. Or expel you thieves at once. Right, boss battle. Lots of bee drill. Okay, let's, uh... Smoke screen. Did I miss a smoke screen? I think I did. Right, the combi are probably going to be a lot weaker, so we'll take them out first. And missing is always great. I like the music, so that beetle though is looking pretty scary. There okay, goes another one. Ooh, okay, they're getting him. I think it's time we go. Love missing Dragon Ranger, I really do. Come on. Oh my god. Okay, we're good, we're good. Hey, that's better. I don't miss attacks, I can actually do damage. To, uh... right, let's confuse all the enemies in the room. Give us time to actually do stuff. Okay, and now we're gonna... Uh... Apple me. Sparky, yeah, he is. You go, you good? Okay, just the beetle left. Ouch, that's fine. I have reviver seeds. Oh my goodness, he does a lot of damage. These battles would be a lot easier if I didn't miss all the time. <laughs> so much easier. Ah, busy bee. Buzzy busy. Judging by your looks, you seem weak. But you are actually quite strong. But we must end this quickly. We must hurry and make honey. We must attack at once. Halt! Oh god. Mistress Vespiquin. Mama. Be drill, combi, calm yourselves. Your opponents are mere children. They are no thieves. Hope you can forgive such a rude welcome. This happens to be our honey making season. We are terribly busy during this time and everyone's emotions tend to run hot. I'm afraid that you have come at a rather dangerous time. Do you hope you understand? Uh, are you. I am Vesper Quinn. I always went with Vesper Queen, but it's Vesper Quinn. I'm the Queen of Nectar Meadow. Th the Queen? Oh, well, I may be a queen in name, but. I am more like a manager in function. Well, you're not queen in name, are you? You're queen. <laughs> oh, your majesty. I came here because I wanted to get some honey. So you are a thief. Eek! Calm yourself. I take it this is how you found yourselves in the fight I interrupted. What good will come of repeating your previous mistakes? 
I brought my allowance and all. My mum has been looking kind of pale lately, and she always uh, she's always tired. I heard that the honey you make is really nutritious. Oh man, he's trying to save his mum. Don't blame him. I thought that if my mum could have some honey to eat, she'd surely get better. So that's it. You're a very sweet and considerate child. We do need any. We do. Uh, we do not need any of your money. You may have this as a gift from me. But really, thank you so much. I hurry back to your home, child. Do you hope your mother will recover. Oh wow. Uh, save and continue. Thank goodness, didn't you know how worried I, I would be? I'm so glad you're alright. Mum, I want you some honey. Eat it all up and get better, okay? Thank you, sweetie. But please, from now on, don't go anywhere dangerous without me. Okay, Mum. Aww. Ain't that sweet. Thank you both so much for what you did. Thanks to you, my child is home safe. Please take this with, please take this with my thanks. What I get, what I get. Perfect apple. Ooh, a weather looplet. Oh my god, oh wow, thank you. Ha, <laughs> Sparky didn't get a thing. I am so grateful that you would worry about my Badoo and go save her. But, you're also children yourselves. Please try not to be too reckless. I'll take the uh, Badoo home now. Thanks, Hayden, and you, Sparky. Laters. It's really good that we found Badoo before anything bad happened. In the end, we skipped school to do it, but I'm still glad that we went. I've just gotten really dark now. If I'm too late getting home, Nuzleaf will probably chew me out. Guess I ought to start heading back. I hate him. Sup. That story about you really being a human? Well, I believe it. What? Yeah. Alright. I've decided. Hate him. I want you to be my friend. Isn't that a bit blunt? Why does it sound like an order? No one believes anything you have to say right now? Wow, no punches pulled there. <laughs> but, that's the same way they are, that's the same way they treat me. So I really understand how you feel. It gets lonely when no one ever, uh, ever believes in you or what you say. If you have even just one friend who will believe you, then you'll be really happy. So, as two fellow outcasts that no one believes in, why don't we start by believing in each other as friends? See? Then all we have to do is get another friend, and then another, and another, and another one. And someday we'll have more friends than we can count. Just like those stars up there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So hate them. Be my friend. I mean, please? Please be my friend? No, that's not quite it either, sorry. I really hope that we can be friends. I promise to stand by you, so let's be friends. Hell yeah, I'll be your friend. You'll really be my friend? What happens if you say no? From today on, we're officially friends. Oh, I know. Uh, let me see. Here they are. <gasps> Yay! The little, uh, kind of scarves. I was gonna say, because um, in the pictures you always see the scarves and like, I haven't seen them being worn yet, and apparently I was all wrapped up in these scarves. So I've always held on to them. I want to show you uh, that I appreciate you being my friend. So I'm giving you one. Here, why don't you try putting it on? Now we're gonna look pretty swell. Oh, a hole. Here, it totally suits you. Looks really good, really. I'd say we both look pretty spiffy, huh? At any rate, these scarves. Will always be the proof of our friendship. Wow, it's going really late. Let's head home. Oh, I'll come uh, by your place in the morning so we can walk to school together. So see you tomorrow. Ain't that sweet? I'm telling you, it's the truth. Who believe a tale like that? He isn't called the big boss of the Northern Seas off for nothing, you know? Didn't even get uh, what you were trying to say in the first place. I know exactly. That's why I asked you guys to come with me to this dark stre uh, stretch of ocean. Oh, we're nearly there now. What is this? Stone, I think. Can't really tell. It's still too dark. Let's back up a little. 
Okay, now let's try shining up uh, all our lights on it together. What in the? You serious? It can't be. No way, Whale Lord? Whale Lord has. been turned into stone. Oh, damn. So I wonder what caused that. But I'm going to end this part right here. Thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we will probably get a very bad scolding for ditching class. But anyway, I'll see you then. Have a great day. Peace.